And boom. We opened the end portal, so let's jump in. Hello and welcome to another episode of you know what the mod pack is. Anyways, yeah, let's begin. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host Berrybyte. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. So what I'm today doing or trying to do is well trying to create a blaze cake so we can create the forged steel which requires a lot of stuff and super heated blaze and blah blah blah. Oops. And yeah, I craft the cursed eye. And then we have all the eyes from the median section and the easy eyes. And then we are just left with the hard eyes which require a bit of grind by the looks of it, but you know, we will manage it. And this. Formula. Uh, oh, so this converts them into... Ah. Uh, yeah, makes sense now. Oh, come on. No one likes you. You should never be added to the game. Oh, of course, and it's raining, and I got this new weapon that I can show you, and of course, the undead army, blah, blah, boring. Oh, they're actually spawning inside the borders. Oh, that didn't happen a long time. But yeah, I got this new weapon, uh, Nightmare Sight, and it just shreds to the mobs. Like, no joke. And it also looks cool when used in third-person mode, like, look at this. Look how cool I look. And when I swing, yeah, like I can do roll and swing. Wow, wow. And why did you spawn all the way there? Let me just clear this undead infestation and I'll get back to, you know, creating a blaze cake because the cake needs to feel special. Oh, you must be kidding me. You really want me to use the, the crate mod. Well, I don't want to use the crate mod, but I guess we have to. Okay, so this contraption is ready, and let's see if it works. Come on, you are so annoying. Go bother someone else. I'm gonna mod you out, I swear. So, how does this work? Uh, do I throw it in there? Or what? It doesn't seem to be working. So how do we get the 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 the, the, the cinder flower? Yeah, it's ah. So I need maybe one next to each other because for whatever reason this doesn't recognize. It still can crush things. Great. So now if I did everything correctly, this should create the thingy. Right? So it's in the flower, so crushing. And I'm confused. Do I place it like that? Oh, there's cats fighting outside. Amazing. Yeah, I'm confused. How does this work? So, if the thingy says it should work like that, it probably should. But it isn't. I'm gonna google this because there's no other way I find out how does this work. With the power of internet I think I figured it out so yeah it looks like now it's having particles and yeah let's put the items in there. Oh it's hurt. Oh it's crushing me. Oh no. Oh uh, how do I get out? Come on. Oh no this is not good. Uh not an expected outcome. I mean, at least it doesn't break my armor, but... Whew! Okay, pro tip, don't get into the crashing wheels. So, is every if everything is set up correctly, now when I throw netherrack in there, it should grind it up, probably, right? Oh yeah, it is working. Amazing. And there we have it, cinder flowers, so that's one of the resources we need for a blaze cake. Now we need sugar and I guess the neck, so we should have those. Sugar and an egg. 
Oh, we have a lot of eggs. A lot more than we need. <laughs> because I grinded them up. So, now I think we put everything into the compacting machine. I like sugar, eggs, and cinder flour. And one, two, three. And let it work. Yeah. It's slowly doing the stuff. And voila. It did it. We have Blaze Quake Base. So, what else we need? Okay, we did that. And now we need Spout to Lava to... Uh, what the hell is that now? So, if I got it right, that looks like to be a depot. And I don't know how the Spout works. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, probably like that, or do we need to put it one block lower? I'm not sure how exactly this works, but we put lava cake there, and we need one lava bucket in... Oh no, oh no, that's not good. So my question is, how do now I put lava inside of here, maybe from up here? Uh... Nope. Nope. I'm just confused. How do you put lava inside of the tank? So I crafted the fluid tank. And I'm still... Have no idea how to fill it up. Like, what am I supposed to do? In other tank mods, you can directly, like, you know... Click on the tank and put the liquid in. But not here, obviously. Why make it easy when you can make it complicated, right mod? Oh, look at those cheeky bastards. In some mode, fluids cannot be added manually. Huh? What the hell is that? Man, I just need a simple system for fluids. I just... Oh, what the hell did I just see? Now I created an item drain. And hopefully... Is that working? Uh, it's not working. Uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to create this... Like, this is the worst part of everything. Like, imagine putting a create mod. Or create mod. And then gating the recipes behind it. And I bet you 90% of players playing this mod pack don't like to mess with it, this and have a gate progression with a mod like this. Like, what am I supposed to do? Do you retain lava? Of course you don't. You probably lost lava. Amazing, yeah. I just hate this so much. What am I supposed to do? So, okay, looks like you have a hole under you. I get that. So, a hole is under you. Maybe I drain... But... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, that doesn't connect. Oh, but that connects. Can we connect the fluid tank? Wait, what am I even doing anymore? I forgot even what I'm doing. Can I test with water? Do I have any... Uh, water, okay. Wait, it's not even connected. What the hell? So what is this? What is the use for it? How can you be not connected? Uh, no, that's still not connected. So... I'm confused. Do you go on the side? No. On this side, maybe. Okay. And now... I did absolutely nothing. I'm confused. I guess it's time to Google again. I can't believe it, I made it work. It's pumping, well, it's pumping water, but we don't need water. So that's that, but it is working, so we need to pump lava in... Wait, can I pump directly into this? Oh, I think I can, I think I can. Oh, and we need uh, this right here, I think. And the lava cake on there, and now we need to get lava. I think we have one more or two more lava buckets. And lava like that. And... It's working! 
Oh, no way. No freaking way. Honestly, fuck this mod. <laughs> I never again want to play it. Like, all of this stuff being forced on me uh, took the enjoyment of me probably ever trying this mod again. Because I, I believe it, it's a great mod. But it, when it's gated like this, when it's it required for something, when it's forcing me, I don't want to do it. I want to do it on my own like accord, when I on my own time, when I feel I I'm ready and I want to explore it. This forcing me is just horrible design. Like look at this. What the hell is this now? Wait, I don't understand this. So I need lava inside of this, but I need mixer to go inside of this. So how do I put lava from here inside of here? Huh? I'm confused. I need lava inside of this. But I also need those things. But I also need the blaze burner which is super heated and uh, blaze with a blaze cake. To get forged steel ingot. I'm confused more and more because this mod makes no sense. Like, how do I put this inside of thi this, but at the same time I need this and this to be present? Uh, well, time to use our brains, I guess. Okay, this isn't working because this thing doesn't want to spill out the lava like it did on lava cake. So what gives now? Or what the hell is going on here? Oh, uh, okay, so apparently I can place the lava inside of this thing. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, it would be too good to work, right? Oh, right, I didn't, uh, I didn't fire up my blaze burner. Oh, I need to go catch a blaze inside of blaze burner. Oh, come on. I, I, so, hey, hold on, hold on. Don't I have a... Burner with a blaze? Yes, I do. I don't need to catch a blaze. Okay, 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 okay. So, like so. And we fire you up and we give you a lot. Who the? Why? How do you hit me? And we give you a lava cake and now we go mixing. Please tell me that's what we need because if not, I'm gonna go crazy. No way. We made for stealing good. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I was goofy. I sounded like goofy for a moment there, but I don't care. We made it. And I hope, hope, hope that's the, that's the last. Come on. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I hope when we craft this ingot, that is the last time we see a crate related content that has, you know, gated progression. Hopefully. And why is this refusing now to work? Two resonant alloy for steel and a blaze cake that uh, blaze that is burning super hot. Hold on, what? Ah, uh, whatever. Why are you not working now? What the hell? I created one. Why can't I create another one? Steel ingot and two resonant alloy, yeah. Am I confused? What is going on? Ah, there we go, there we go. No, spider, go away. Go away. Go away. You are not ruining my stuff. Goodbye. And here we go. <laughs> yes. And we got no rewards for that. What a scammy, scammy quest to do. Like, ah, and now we can create a cursed eye, if I'm not wrong. Oh, we are missing gilded pearl, which is easy to make. And, voila, a new protector. We got 12 eyes, and we can now use items that, well, require 12 eyes. 16 netherite? <gasps> what the hell? And we got another life crystal and a lot of text. So if you want to read it, you know what to do. You can pause the video and read it yourself. Because I'm gonna read it myself in my own head. 
and I don't want to butcher so much words. Like, look how many words there are. Do you think my brain can comprehend that? Of course not. So, yeah. So long story short, from what I gathered is that there is some kind of entity, god, blah blah blah. You know how it goes. They are all powerful, but somehow the hero of this whole story in this time, us, is stronger than them. So yeah, they can be strong all they want, but you know who's the big bad boss of this big game? Us. Hold on, why is there an Aether Eye? I just realized it's Aether Eye. Does it mean there's Aether mod? Or... What? Uh, I'm confused. Is there Aether mod? Uh, doesn't look like to be. Eh, uh, whatever. So, the end. I think we can finally go to end now, since we have the 12 eyes. Yeah, I think that's... A possible solution. So, should we go to end and see what? But hold on. What if the dragon is buffed? What am I not prepared? Oh, that's not good. I'ma go destroy all of these contraptions and you know, give myself a bit of break to see and think about what we what we might encounter in end. Like I think we can go inside of it, so it might be interesting stuff. But yeah, let's get back to there. Oh, and we finished the Illinger Bounty Hunter, so we got a lot of food and Unholy Grail. Now you can't... You... Why did the chicken unstack? Do I place it down? Probably. But I'm more interested in this Holy Grail. Like, what does it do? I want to drink from it. Okay, so what do we do with the grail? Does it give positive buffs or... Yeah, by the looks of it, it's kind of useless. Yep, a chicken is a placeable treat. So, yeah, villagers, I guess... Look at the amazing chicken you have in front of you. Mmm, so nice, eh? I know it's nice. Why do I have such a long range? Man, what the hell? Does this give me a yeah, plus 0 0.5 range? Nice. I just realized I can make a stuffed potato, which stacks to 64. I mean, all of those stacks to 64. What am I on? Or I can make egg sandwich, which is also good, which my guess is... To get this, you need just to, yeah, cook an egg. Not that hard. Ah, you know what? The less we wait, the more temptation I'm gonna have. I'm gonna just jump in the end and, 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 and just, you know, end it. I'm gonna show the dragon who's the boss. So, let's do this. Let's place all the eyes in the slots. And see the portal light up. Uh, okay. And, hmm. It seems like we need one more. I wonder if default and I... Yeah, it doesn't want to be used. Ah, amazing. So if I did the math right, this is like... It should be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it should be 12 eyes. So which eye we are missing? Looks like somehow we are missing the corrupted eye, which I have no idea where it went. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, we didn't craft it. We need a card pumpkin. Wait, we, we did craft it. What the hell? Yeah, we, we crafted it before because it's unlocked. Now I'm confused. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna craft another one in a moment. And boom. We opened the end portal, so let's jump in. Whoop. Yeah, joining the world. Uh, quest complete, quest track, chapter complete and quest complete. 
The end. Enter the end portal. Okay. Why am I hearing bells? And what is that? Adamanti node. Okay. Iridium. Uh, an extra leg or two. Hold on, what? Oh god, that's toxic, what? And are you? Hmm. So there is flying endermans. And I hear a bell. Oh yeah, this doesn't look good. So there are flying endermen. And like 50 mutated endermans. And you are saying to me... What is this? Whoa, what the hell? What the hell is going on? Look harder, not smarter. What? I'm confused. What the hell is going on? I don't like that there is bell ringing into my ear non-stop. And what is this? Bucket of ooze? And who the hell invited you? Please leave me. Oh, come on. No way. I hit... I looked at you. And now the... Ender... Ah, Ender Dragon is spawning. Come on. I have an important... What? More important job than fighting you. You are not important in here. Let me see the... Bah! I hate this guy. You are the worst possible thing. Ow. And there's Ender Dragon. Where is this guy? I, I can't focus on Ender Dragon. Because I'm getting chased by this dude. Go die. Bye bye. Goodbye. Okay, so there's the dragon and he has three heads. What the? Don't tell me I got hit by another dumb big enderman. Okay, that's not... Come on, I need to kill the towers, eh? Move away! Uh, come on! Why is the bow so inaccurate? Okay, one down. What the hell is this sound? I'm not sure what is happening. But I don't want to look at any mutated endermans. I'm just gonna skip the clearing of, you know, the towers unless something interesting happens because it's a bit slow process. And I really hate those flying enderlings, whatever they are. Okay, so now all we are left with is, you know, to bow down the Enderman. Well, not the Enderman, but the Ender Dragon. What the hell? Who? What are you now? The guy just started chomping on me. So Dragon perched on here, but at the same time his speed lasts like 50 hours. Obviously, because why would it not? So I couldn't get to him to hit him with a sword. But arrows seems like they are doing no damage to him. So my bet was just confused how should one kill this ender dragon if arrows don't do any damage. Don't tell me I aggro the fucking mutated enderman. How did I catch a fish? What is going on over here? Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Yeah, 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 you got a 50 blocks, you, you're gonna hit me 50 times over here, you are good and fast and bad and strong and blah, blah, blah. Oh. It's funny how the mutated Enderman guy was a scary threat at the start of the game, but now it's just annoying threat. Because it's useless. Yeah, yeah, just spit on me. And the funny thing is, while you need to get up here to hit the dragon, he just flies away because, you know, you need to get all the way up here. 
And if you stay up here, he's gonna... Uh, he's just gonna bomb the place with his things. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit longer than I predicted. Obviously, he should be stronger, but... Apart from being the loud guy and having three heads, he's not that much of a threat. What the hell was that? It's trap. Encounter an endstone trapper. Well, I didn't encounter him, he encountered me. Oh. So that is where he spawns, eh? How the hell did I get set on fire in the end? Oh. And you are so loud. You are really so loud. Oh. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're not gonna push me. You are gonna die. Just in a... Oh, you are trying to run away. Not from me. Where are you? And... Ah. And... Bye. Oh, it's not bye-bye. And bye-bye. Still not bye-bye. And bye-bye. Still not bye-bye. How much loudness do I need to endure before you die? Am I missing something? There is no way that so much damage was done and he just scoffed it off. No way. Okay, I'm confused what is going on, why I can't kill him. What is going on? Is there some kind of... Some kind of requirement I haven't... Oh, we did it! We did it! And look at the reception we have. Goodbye. Finally. And let's see, what did we get? XP? Hello, XP? Where is the XP? Wow! Wow! So much XP! So apparently we should be able to go and explore... Yes! That thing! Oh, really? I didn't look at the mutated Enderman. Somehow he got aggroed on me because, you know, they like to do that. And that's totally not the most dangerous place we could go with those flying guys that, you know, just want to kill us. So, I mean, uh, the best I can have is my Ender Pearl on the hand. And let's open this, let's see what is there. We got in Enderium Shard Locator. Okay. And the Dragon's Bread in the bottle and End Crystals. Unless I am missing something. Don't push me off. Okay, we are here and let's do this. Uh, the mobs are moving, so let's do this. Again. I guess not. Maybe we need normal Ender Pro to pass through it. Yes, that was it. And oh my god. Isn't this just the recipe for a disaster? Why did you spawn me on worst possible location? Well, it has come to that. I checked the recording time and it's 28 minutes. Damn. So, yeah. I guess it's time to end the episode with the cool things flying behind us and, you know. Oops, I had a hiccup there. Stay awesome. Like, share and subscribe and hopefully we won't die to those guys. Bye.